Hey, welcome to the show. Here we have Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 2. We're going to be doing number 2 today and Lesson 3. Let's go ahead and take a look at this question here, math the problem. story, the math problem. And remember, we're going to be looking at, we're going to have to do the read, draw, and write. So let's go ahead and get right into it. There are 12 tables in the cafeteria. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and underline 12 tables. Five students sit at each of the first 11 tables. So I'm going to write the number five right here. Five students sit at each of the first 11 tables. Okay. And three students right here. I'm going to put a three right here. Sit at the last table. How many students are sitting at the 12 tables? Okay. So what I want you to do is they are not asking for any type of tape diagram or or any kind of number line. You could just do whatever, do whatever you want. Exactly. Just do whatever you want. Think outside the box. Do some cool drawing. When you're ready to check it with me, hit the play button. All right. Or pause it first and then hit the play button. All right. All right. Welcome back here. Um, what are they really asking you right here? How many students are sitting at 12 tables? We don't really need to know that about the 12 tables. They just want to know. I mean, the kids are sitting at the tables, but how many kids are there? There are five students that sit at each of the 11 tables. So there's two problems here. All right. Now, if you wanted to that, and they don't, they want you to draw this out, but the real equation is, is 11 times five and whatever that answer is going to be. And then there's three right here. So whatever this answer is going to be right here, and if you want to do like some cool algebra, um, that would be like a, I hope I'm not confusing you, and then that would be a plus three equals your answer here. So uh, what is the math problem? All right, so right now, 12 tables, okay? Yeah. We don't need to do 12 tables. We just want 11 tables. So you can draw 11 tables if you want to. Here's one. I'm doing Two, the math problem. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, I when I'm teaching my class, I have 20 students. Each of the students is going to have their paper looking differently. And I encourage all the students at the end to go around and take a look at how each of the students worked their problem out because that is also a great learning uh, opportunity. Remember, this is just a visual representation of your problem right here. This, don't get confused about that. We'll come back to this. How many kids are at the tables? There's five kiddos at each table, at 11 tables. All right, so I have five each right here. Five, 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 five. So now I'm going to go ahead and count this out. So we can count by fives. Those are kind of fun to count by. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So we have 55 students right here. All right, if you want to draw one of those little cool things here, you can. A right here, I'm just going to scratch out A, that is 55. And this problem right here would be 55 plus those three other students. Visually, you got this other table over here. So you got three students right here. Okay. I, I'm not sure why they're sitting alone. Uh, come on, guys. You know, join the join the group. So, or maybe they just prefer to be alone, and that's okay. So we have 55. I got the answer. He's got the answer. All right. So this is my son. He made his drawing right <laughs> here, and he did all those fives. <laughs> it was actually quite easy. And then plus three. three. I'm okay. re rewriting the problem. So we have five, six, seven, eight. And bring down the five right here. We did not have to carry over. So we have five. So we have 58 right here too. All right. So I how got many? 58 too. You got 58 students? 58. He's got 58 students. Awesome. So 58 
students, student, studentes, students. All right. So doesn't matter as long as you got the same answer. It does not matter how you got here. As long as you get the, the same answer. You could do it like this. You can do it like that. It might take more time just to do that. Yeah, or you can do a number line or whatever. Whatever. All right, now we are on to the problem set. Plot a point on the number line for the times shown on the clock below. Then draw the line to match the clocks to the points. Yeah. Now. Last time. Yes. Now remember, uh, <laughs> teach your kiddos how to read a clock. Okay. This is a um, small hand. That's the big hand. Small hand, and uh, how I teach it is the lady hand, because usually guys are bigger, and this is the man hand. The ladies always go first, and so you would say. Remember that ladies always go first. So this is in between the seven and eight. So that would be seven. And then you read the big hand. So that's five, 10, 15. My eyes just can't see very well right in here. And see 15, 16. I don't know. If you got 16 or 17, yeah, it's close enough. All right. 703. Let's go with this one. Remember, read the the uh, lady hand first, and I think that's getting really close to eight o'clock. It's not past the eight. So it would not, you would don't put eight because it's not on the eight o'clock. When this is right here, then it's eight o'clock and then 8.05. It's not quite there. Not quite there. So it's seven. It's like at the last tick. No. Tick. And then I'm going to count this. I, I don't need to count all the way here. Here's 30, and that would be 45. 50. 55. It might be 55. It could be 54. We'll just put 55. It's closest. Yeah, I think it's 55. My they, make it, they make the clock so tiny. Yes. Um, here it's 7 o'clock. The lady hand is still in the 7 right here. And here's 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. If you got 41 or 42, Awesome. Like, this is a <laughs> weird number. It looks like a one and a two. Okay. Okay. We have to plot that just like this. All right. So we have seven, eight. I'm checking, checking this out, seeing how they're doing that. 60, remember, represents one hour. So they just put eight. So seven, 16. And where's the 16 at? You know what? They didn't. Why are they? I'm just going to go in here and make it a little bit easier. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So much easier. So 716 would come right after 715. 703. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, right here. You can do the sound effects if you want to. 755, that one's an easy cheesy one right here. Bam, right there. 742, here's 40, 41, 42. And did I miss anything? Nope, didn't miss anything. All right. Okay, we're ready to go on to the next one here. Jesse woke up this morning at 648 a.m. All right, draw hands on the clock below to show what time Jesse woke up. Please don't do this. Don't draw little hands on there. Hello, how are you doing? No, they're talking about, <laughs> about the clock hands. Draw hands on the, I guess this would be right. Uh, draw hands on the clock below to show what time she woke up. So it's six o'clock, all right? Now remember, lady hand goes first, all right? So that's the small hand. It has to be in the land of the six. Now, if you, when you're drawing this, don't worry, you know, if you're, the lady hand is here or it's over here or over there, it, it's going to be going to be somewhere right in here. I'm not looking for the exact placement of that little hand as long as it's in between the 6 and the 7. For the 48, let's get exact on that one. So we have 30, count it out, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. You can put a little dot right here. So 
and then have your long hand kind of reach out there, just like that. All right. I wonder if you can put feet on these guys here too. That'd be kind of cool. Better draw another hand over here. Hey. Okay. Um, <laughs> got to make math fun. You do. Just got to have fun with it. Treat it like a puzzle and, or detective works. Detective work. All right. Miss Barnes starts teaching math at 8.23 a.m. That's pretty early, Miss Barnes. You know, why don't you have a little morning meeting and a little, a little cookie break or something? But um, 8.23 a.m. Draw hands on the clock below to show what time Miss Barnes starts teaching math. You really want to draw those hands on there, don't you? Uh, again, um, this is going to be the lady hand representing. So we need to find an eight here. Here's eight. All in this area is the eight o'clock stuff. All right. So my small hand is going to be right in there. And basically, if it was 830... It would be right in here part, probably right here, and then um, 8.23 would probably be a little bit here. So I could have lowered that little hand right there. And my big hand is going to be uh, 23. So I'm just going to count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 20, I'm sorry, I, I went way off, 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, 21, 22, 23, right here. Sometimes my mind is thinking three steps ahead, and so always check your teacher, okay? We make little mistakes. We make little mistakes. But you know what? I call them happy mistakes because we can learn. And I'm showing you, even as a teacher, even somebody that has a degree in math, we, we make mistakes. So you always need to be, even in these books, they make mistakes. So do us a favor. Check our work. Keep us on track. All right, so here's what it's going to look like. I'm going to make sure I'm doing this right. Always double check. Hey, also, when you take quizzes, and you do your homework, um, some of my best students would do their quiz and then go back and they would recheck every single one of their problems and they would find an error, but they would get, oh my goodness, great scores. Okay, that's what engineers and doctors do. A doctor or an engineer, they will finish their project and they go back and they make sure that there was no errors. The clock shows what time Rebecca finishes her homework. What time does Rebecca finish her homework? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, lady hand, where's that? In between the five and the six, so it's going to be five. And then count this out. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. And also, if please go ahead and pause the video at any time. Do this on your own and then check this with me. We're almost done. All right. The clock below shows what time Mason's mom drops him off for practice. What time does Mason's mom drop him off? Well... Is it 4 o'clock yet? No. If it was 4 o'clock, this line would be straight up here. So it's still 3 something. It's 3. I'm going to put a 3 right here. This is 3.30. This is 3.45. 3.50. I would say 3.56. If you got 3.56, 3.57, something like that, um, that would be the answer right here. So, does it say a.m. or p.m.? The clock below shows what time Mason's mom drops him off for practice. Okay. What do you assume this is going to be? Is this going to be a.m. or p.m.? Take a minute there. Well, if it was at 3.56 in, in the morning, he, he would be so tired for school. I'm guessing it's going to be p.m., all right, so I think that would be PM. These are questions that we should always ask ourselves. Great learning opportunities. Mason's coach arrived 11 minutes before Mason. What time did Mason's coach arrive? So there's a couple of different ways on how you could find that. You could go back 11 minutes. All right, so it'd be um, 
You could do it that way, or you could just do simple subtraction, just like that, minus 11. So that would be 3 and 345. So the answer would be 345. Okay, just checking my work here. Hey, if you ever see an error, please put it down in the comments down below, or you have any suggestions. Keep them positive, keep it friendly, keep it kid-friendly. And we're all, we, we want to make this a kid-friendly show. The clocks show what time Jason gets to school in the morning. All right, what time does Jason get to school? Remember, if this was 8 o'clock, this would be straight up. So it is 8 o'clock. It's 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. So he gets to school at 8, 04. I'm thinking that Jason is getting to school late. Getting there a little tardy. I bet he has to be school at 8 or 7.30. So, Jason, how can we make that work? All right, we want to get you there on time. The first bell rings at 8.23 a.m. All right, so draw hands on the clock to show when the first bell rings. Remember, 8 is our lady hand. We do that first. And it's not going to be right exactly on 8. It's going to be right about, almost, almost in the middle. I said almost, almost twice, didn't I? And then, because 8.30 would be right in the middle, and then 8.23. So here's 30. Let's just go back here. Oh, goodness gracious. These marks are really hard to see with my glasses. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. It's somewhere right in here. You know what? If I'm having trouble seeing this, I bet a lot of other kiddos are having trouble seeing that. All right. If you got one of those cool uh, plastic clocks, you could do that on the side here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, looks good so far. All right. Letter C. Label the first and last tick marks 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Let's just do that first. You got to take these step by step. Otherwise, you start getting confused here. So this is 8 a.m. And over here is 9 a.m. Plot points to show when Jason arrives at school. All right. This is at 8.04. Again, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So he gets there at 8.04. So 8.04 is right here. All right. That's when he arrives. Maybe he doesn't have to be at school until 8.30. Uh, the first bell rings at 8.23 a.m. That's really an odd time for the bell to ring. It's like either make it 8.20 or 8.30. But why would you have the first bell ring at 8.23? Question everything. Question everything. Here, so we have 20 and then 25. So we have 20, 21, 22, 23. It's going to be right here. 8.23. That's the first bell. I don't know how you want to label that. You can put it as eight. Yeah, I'm just going to put first bell right there. Looking good. I hope you're writing neater than me. <laughs> All right. Is that it? That is it. We did it. We accomplished it. I hope you had fun today. Uh, remember, think outside the box. Do what works for you. Have fun with math. Be safe out there. Check out my other videos. I would love it if you hit subscribe. If you can find a way to send cookies through the email, let me know. That would be delicious. I don't know. I'm thinking about cookies right now. Hey, time to go. <laughs> All right. We'll see you later. Adios. Goodbye.